You may not know that Final Cut Pro has got sound effects built in. For most of us, we can't have enough sound effects. We'll have sourced them or purchased them over time, but they'll be spread all over our computer. The time-consuming problem is not knowing where they are and then having to evaluate them and then having to drag them into Final Cut Pro. Wouldn't it be nice to have all your sound effects stored directly inside Final Cut Pro? My name's Bruce, and if we've met before, welcome back. Otherwise, please like and subscribe and press the bell so that I can make more videos like this for you. And as a bonus, I'll show you at the end of this video how to download 33,000 free sound effects. Final Cut sound effects are stored in a folder appropriately called Final Cut Pro Sound Effects. It's inside the Apple Loops folder in your system library. And here's how to find it. Open Macintosh HD on your internal drive. Open Library, Audio, Apple Loops, and then Apple. And there's the Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder. Next, you need to collect all your sound effects into one folder. And don't fret about not getting them all, as you can easily add others later, and Final Cut Pro will get updated. Go to the Downloads folder, and drag the FX into the folder. Let's call this folder My Sound Effects and save it to a convenient place on your computer. The Documents folder is a good choice. In order for Final Cut Pro to be updated when any changes are made to this folder, it's best to make an alias, and that's Apple's terminology for a shortcut to the real folder. Right click on My Sound Effects folder and select Make Alias. All you need to do now is drag that alias into the Final Cut Pro Sound Effects folder that I showed you a moment ago. And now, whenever you add more sound effects to that original folder that's in the documents, Final Cut Pro will get updated. Here's the listing as it shows in Final Cut Pro. As you know, you can access your iTunes music here as well. And if you don't want your film music to clog up iTunes, you could add a music folder to the sound effects folder in the same way I've just shown you. And as promised, here's where you can download those 33,000 free sound effects. They're in the BBC sound effects library. But as with most things in life, there are usually conditions and the sound effects may be labeled free to download but are only available free to use under a Remark license. And that means for personal, educational or research purposes. If that fits for you, then use the procedure I've just shown you to add those to the Final Cut Pro sound effects library. Use the link in the description below to search and download any of the 33,000 sound effects. And just a note, if you want them for commercial use, the BBC sound effects are available to purchase. It's no doubt that Final Cut Pro can do a lot, but you do need to know how to use it. I can help you make the most of your time and show you face to face how to master Final Cut Pro. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and press the bell.